Alright, so what the fuck going on? It's your boy Mob Moot. And now to start start me a motherfucking YouTube channel because why not, nigga? YouTube paying out that motherfucking bread. And I see niggas doing this shit all the motherfucking time. So now I'm gonna start me one. So today's goddamn episode. <laughs> Alright, look, I ain't like that first video. I ain't like that take. We're gonna do a second take. It's your boy Mob Moot. M O B. M O O K. The M O B stand for man of motherfucking business. Cause that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? I make business happen. I run business. And I just start to start me a new business, which is a YouTube channel business. You know what I'm talking about? We're gonna run these revenue screens up. You know what I'm saying? They say the average millionaire got seven screens of income. I'm working on, I don't know which one, nigga, but we getting there. You feel what I'm talking about? Denied. Those that don't know who Mob is, bitch. I rap. I write music, goddamn. Fuck you talking about? Bitch, and I'm that nigga, all right? And I'm goddamn one-third of motherfucking UOD. You know what I'm talking about? UOD stand for us over them. Scrap that go for anything you repping, goddamn. I don't give a fuck you repping Girl Scout gang. I don't give a fuck you repping Carmax gang. Niggas, us over them. Oh, nigga, I'm Carmax gang. You candle gang. But guess what, niggas? Us over them. You smell what I'm talking about? I go for anything. Now, so today, we in my dirty-ass room. It ain't really dirty, but my bed ain't made up. I got shit on it, nigga. Today we in my room, nigga, and we gonna give out ratchet ass relationship advice. I know you motherfuckers thinking, who is this motherfucker? And why am I finna take some ratchet ass relationship advice from this nigga? Let me tell you, I'm a motherfucker that been through some shit with these hoes, alright? Bitches done goddamn deleted my social medias, deleted my emails, hoes done goddamn stole money from me, these bitches done goddamn tried to set me up, get me killed. I done had a bitch take pictures of me booty butt naked while I was sleeping and posting bitches on the internet, alright? So I, I know a, a thing or two. About these ratchet ass, crazy ass bitches. And there's some women out here too. Shout out to the real women holding that shit down. Whether you a single mother, you feel me? Whether you got down just out here on your motherfucking grind, you start doing business, you in school, you got two, three jobs. I salute y'all, you feel me? Because y'all y'all on y'all grind, y'all getting it. But today, this relationship advice is towards these stupid ass bitches and how to deal with them. You know what I'm talking about? So, my first piece. A ratchet relationship advice today comes from experience. And we're gonna talk about pulling a so called bad bitch. When a nigga goddamn get him a female that he feel like is a dime, she a straight 10 on the scale, probably above a 10, she don't fit the scale. And your ugly ass done managed to pull this bitch. Now, it's a few rules that come with having a bad ass bitch. You understand what I'm saying? Rule number one. For having a badass bitch is let her be her. You gotta let her do her, bro. If you met the bitch and she just dressing all skimpy online, showing off the pussy print, bro, and that's what attracted you, my nigga. Hey, guess what? It's gonna attract other niggas. Nine times out of ten, them other niggas gonna be just like you, cause she chose your ugly glass. So guess what? You gotta deal with that. You gotta let her be herself, bro. If you wanna be with a bad bitch, bro, you gotta be comfortable and let the bitch be herself, bro. You feel me? You gotta let her. You gotta let her do her thing, bro. You can't try to shelter her, or try to stop her, or change her, bro. You can't do that, bro. You feel me? That ain't, that ain't play up, bro. You feel me? You gotta let her do her because you chose that. You feel me? That's what you went for. So you gotta accept what she bring to the table. Now, rule number two to fucking with a bad bitch is she gotta have something to bring to the table. You can't be fucking with a bad bitch that's just bad, bro. You feel me? Because now you just fucking with a bitch that's doing bad. See what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta fuck with her. She a bad bitch, not physically. But she got to be a bad bitch mentally and spiritually too, bro. You feel what I'm saying? She got to be able to provide for you, bro. Not necessarily. She ain't got to necessarily be able to cook, you know what I'm saying, or clean up. But got now she could probably hire a, a, a cleaner lady. She probably hire a chef. But see, she got it down pat like that, you know what I'm saying? You can't be fucking with a bitch that got there. Oh, she she could cook, but she might cook. You know what I'm saying? She she know how to clean a little bit, and she might clean up one day. Nah, we can't be fucking with them. That's not, that ain't a bad bitch. That's the bitch that's doing bad. You see what I'm saying? So rule number two is you got to get you a bad bitch that got something going. See what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. A lot of these so-called bad bitches, they really bitches that's just doing bad. You go to her house, it's dirty as hell. You feel me? Cigarette stains everywhere, my nigga. She ain't even take the effort to clean that shit up, my nigga. You feel me? I done been through that shit a couple times, bitch. Be fine as a motherfucker. You step off in that bitch spot, nigga. You be like, God damn, who the fuck live here? See what I'm talking about? So you gotta get you a bitch that actually got something going on. You smell me? So that's gonna bring me to the next rule. You gotta get you a bitch. If you fucking with a bad bitch, you think the bitch bad. She got something going on. You see she got something going on. You got to get you a bitch that got a good support system or at least some friends, okay? 
some real friends. Because if she got some fake friends, that's drama that she ain't going to be a part of. Because her friends going to be got them coming to her talking about you spending more time with this nigga now. And this nigga taking up all your energy and your time. We don't see you because of this nigga. No, we ain't doing that. Don't let her have the friends blaming the fact that she don't kick it with them bum assholes no more on you. Because you got something going on, and, 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 you, and your bitch got something going on. Y'all got something going on together, and her friends don't. She ain't got no real support system. She ain't got nobody there to really be there for her. You can't be fucking with bitches like that, bro. You feel me? You can't. Because the, the flip side to that coin, if they're in her friends, it's going to be her. She's going to be all up under you all the time because she ain't got shit going on. Or, goddamn, she ain't got no real friends to go holler at all day, you feel me? Because now she done found something that she want to stick to, and that's going to be your black ass. You see what I'm saying? No, sir. Get you a bitch that got something going on that got real friends or a support system you see what i'm saying this is gonna bring me to rule number five i think we don't rule no this is gonna bring me to rule number five all right rule number five is if you fall out with the bitch right this is where the shit get ugly. when you and this bitch get to falling out don't you dare don't text this bitch don't motherfucking don't look at her stories on social media if, if she unfollowed, y'all unfollow each other, nigga, you unfollow. Nigga, stay unfollowed. Nigga, if you block, be blocked. Don't be looking for your homeboy pages. Don't do none of that, bro. Don't don't put no pressure. Don't let the bitch see you sweat, my boy. Because now she got that over you, my boy. I don't give a fuck if you burnt the head twice in one night, bro. You feel me? You ain't never burnt no head twice in one night. She done made you that twice, nigga. Just, uh, uh, I don't give a fuck. Don't you fucking call or text her if y'all don't fell out. All right, this is probably the most important don't piece of advice. Don't go back. Let her come back to you, okay? Because let me tell you something. Women, a lot of women that you think be fine as hell don't think they fine as hell, okay? They got a lot of insecurity issues, bro. And the fact that she chose your ugly ass don't mean that she got down lower her standards for nobody. What that means is, nigga, you need to goddamn figure out what them insecurities is what them triggers is and you don't need to play on them but you need to let her know that she don't have them it's like the insecure like oh she might be like oh she got a big nose or a big ass forehead but she probably sexy as hell man baby i'm gonna watch your big ass come here let me watch your big ass nose i can get you some big ass tissue you, know? you feel me come on you gotta you gotta you gotta embrace them flaws bro you feel me fuck your big ass baby i love your forehead come here goddamn we're gonna put a billboard on it i love your forehead we're gonna get you some money off that forehead you see what i'm saying you gotta you gotta take them you gotta take them flaws and you gotta highlight them, bro. And you gotta let her know that goddamn she ain't got them flaws, bro. Because if she play on them flaws all day long, nigga, goddamn, and the next nigga come at her inbox, nigga, baby, you ain't goddamn. The next nigga tell her put a, a billboard on her forehead, nigga, you feel me? She ain't gonna goddamn. She she gonna look at you different, bro. She gonna come to you like, why you ain't tell me, goddamn? We could just get me bigger tissue for my big ass nose. Why you don't love me like that? You know what I'm saying? So you gotta goddamn. Find out where you fit in, where you can fit in in that situation. Because at this point, when y'all fall out and them insecurities come back up, bro, it, it was your job, bro. It was your job to protect them insecurities, bro. Now either one or two things gonna happen. She gonna think about the times where she thought about her eyelids was too small and you encouraged her on her eyelids. Or she gonna think about the times you didn't. And then she gonna look at this next motherfucker that's encouraging her small ass eyelids. And she gonna goddamn be like, you know what? He ain't do that. He ain't never do me like that. You know what? Let me go fuck with a real ass nigga. Or she gonna be like, man, he used to do that for me. Let me let me go back. Let me go back to fucking with a real ass nigga. You see what I'm saying? She gonna wanna fuck with the new nigga because the new nigga gonna remind her of your dumb ass. And she gonna come back right back to your stupid ass. But where you fuck up at is going back to her and let her know, no, baby, I'm sorry. I, I should have never goddamn not, not encouraged the small ass eyelids. You know what I'm saying? Your long ass nostril here. I should have just told you we could curl your nostril hair up just like the hair on your head. You can have a nose bang yang. You know, I, I should have said, no, nah, you ain't do that, though. So don't be mad when the next nigga, you feel me? So don't go back. Let her come back to your dumb ass. You see what I'm saying? It's not times out of ten, bitches don't want to fuck with a new nigga, bruh. They don't want to catch a new body, bruh. They don't. They don't know what the dick gonna be like, bro. You feel me? Unless they just seen the nigga dick and you just out of luck and he just over here 14 inching it on your ass and you just a dud. Other than that, bro, they don't know, bro. They don't want to fuck with a new nigga, bro. You understand what I'm saying? So that's where it's your opportunity to still be inside the fence, bro. Still be inside the fence, bro. When you go outside the fence, bro, you're going to stay outside the fence. 
I know, because I done been on both sides. I'm telling everything I'm telling y'all is from personal experience, okay? Everything I'm telling y'all from personal experience. I, I know this shit. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. So listen, take this relationship advice from episode one of Rash Ad Relationship Advice, okay? How to deal with a bad bitch, all right? And if it's shit I left out or shit I'm missing, Put it in the motherfucking comments and let me know, niggas. on episode two of Ratchet Relationship Advice. We can get this shit down packed. All right? It's your boy, Mob. I'm out, man. You OD.